Welcome to SCORE Financial Projection Inputs 4. We're now ready to enter our operating expenses. We start with Worksheet 5A. I've already entered advertising, insurance, lease expense, and office expense. Let's say you want to change one of these. Let's change licenses to recycle. Simply type right over licenses and enter recycle. Let's say recycle is going to cost 200 a month. We'll enter the 200, then hook on the lower right hand corner and drag it all the way across. And now we're at 200 a month for the recycle expense. You may have other categories that you would wish to add. However, I would uh, caution you that it becomes somewhat difficult to add rows to this spreadsheet. But if you do so and you have good skills in Excel, remember to add the same rows and labels on worksheets 5B, 7A, and 7B. Now let's look at operating expense years 1 to 3 on 5B. Your first year expenses are already populated and you're able to adjust the growth rate for the year 1 to year 2 and then it further adjust it from year 2 to year 3 and this will populate your profit and loss statement. At this point you have entered your sales information, cost of goods sold, you've entered your payroll and operating expenses and now your cash flow statement 6A and 6B will be populated along with your income statement 7A and 7B and you'll find your balance sheet is populated as well. Check all these to see that they're in correctly entered and check your balance sheet to see if it's in balance. It'll state right at the bottom if it is. From this point on it's a matter of double checking your work and reassessing your assumptions. Best of luck to you on the SCORE Financial Projection Inputs.